tonight from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. a beautiful fall night for football here in the Northeast as we are inside Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store between the New York Giants and the New England Patriots. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. So here come the Patriots now to take over on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there are many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the third. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Jones throw there complete to Myers. And he's got Rome. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Running out of the gun with White. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Dexter Lawrence that time in on the stop. A quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second down and five. Throwing Jones. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. Johnson, the intended target, and it's third down. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. He's got his man. It's Kendrick Bourne. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They hand this off to Harris. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point up and good by Fulk. And that makes the score 7-0. A 10-play drive that time. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. Bailey now to kick.
sack it away after the touchdown. And no return from Cooper. Out it will go to the 25. First go on offense for the Giants under the guidance of Daniel Jones, the former Duke Blue Devil. We knew about the great mind coming out of Duke, and we saw the athletic ability and the potential. Watching it all come together and get better with each passing year, that's been fun. He can throw it deep, throw it short, and, of course, take off out of the pocket and beat you with his legs as well. Barkley unable to get away on the first down run as he'll be stopped for a loss of a couple. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Jones fakes the give to Barkley, finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. So third and five, defensively expecting pass. They've got six DBs out there. Now Jones. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. A fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Gunnar Olszewski deep for New England. And this will be blown dead right around the 25-yard line. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. But well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say, when you're running the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. Came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. He's got it to James White. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Now Jones to throw on third down. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter. Back deep, the dangerous Pharaoh Cooper. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that can put your team in some jeopardy? Meanwhile, Jones throw here taken in by Ingram. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Here's Jones on first and ten. Jones hit and the ball's out. But I believe the Giants got this back and they will hold on to the possession. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. On 
third down, Barkley. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Now a dump off here complete. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. On second down now. It's Harris, and he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Second and one, if people want to run the football, this is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. Jones throwing on first down. That's complete into the hands of Myers. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. second down it's white and give him about four on the play but he's marked short so it'll be third and about the length of the football Brandon all things considered they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them could be four down territory even if they don't get this but they need just a few inches here on third Jones keeping it on the sneak and Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short only a few inches needed on the sneak. He didn't get it, and now it's fourth down. They gain nothing, and all they need are inches. Usually we put this on the offensive line, but sometimes it's the quarterback's fault as well on the sneak. You've got to get low and burrow. Usually we talk about O-line surge, their D-line surge leading to fourth. In lieu of the sneak on fourth and inches, they just say, give it to the big man in the backfield. Yeah, fullback no less. Not many of those left in the NFL, but for those that have one, perfect time to use them, perfect time to get it done. Jones throw pulled in by Aguilar. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. First down, Harris. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Now a second down and six. Looking to throw. Jones got his man complete over the middle. That's Henry. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And Harris is not going to get there. Great work defensively to stop him short. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. They're going for it. This is Harris. And I don't think he got there. He did not. They stop him a yard shy. He needed two. He only got one. And the Giants are going to get the football back. Jones now on first down. It's hauled in by Shepard. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Now Saquon Barkley. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And that went off the mark, a little late with the throw. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and the Patriots take over. The Pats at the line ready to go. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? <laughs> that was planned going into it. Not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold it. He up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much. And I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. Now we'll see what his offense can do. On third down, here's Harris. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 61 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Throwing on first down, Jones. He'll get this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. A good rally to the football. Keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Well, that one sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They'll run on first down. Harris. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. This is Harris. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Back to throw, Jones. That is caught inside the five. Touchdown! Kendrick Bourne, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots add on to their lead. The defense is doing their best, but they're struggling right now. They'll look for some help from their own offense to keep them in the game. Full connects on the extra point the score 14 to zip so that drive in total eight plays and it ends with a new england touchdown bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown and cooper he's going to remain in the end zone and that'll be a touchback but the focus shifts back to Daniel Jones and company. He has not had the game that he envisioned. His team has not had the game that they've envisioned here. So how do they turn this around now? Well, right now, what he's looking forward to doing is finding a way to get the added weight on his back. Is it like that monkey that Steve Young was talking about? And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Christian Barmore able to take him down. It's a loss of three. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Off play action. Jones looking deep downfield. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A big connection on that one. 31 yards for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. 
A first down carry for Barkley. And shutting him off. Now open field. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Oh, he's got the full package. He can spin. He can juke. He can make you miss. He can drop his shoulder on you. Some of that elusiveness we saw at Penn State has definitely translated to the NFL game. Saquon Barkley hit the proper buttons and turned him loose. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. On the run, it's Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's a give to Barkley. And he'll be brought down. At the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. Christian Barmore. Gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. After the sack on first down, Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. The Giants on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They can use a conversion. This will be third and six. This is Shepard on the catch. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Yeah, remember now, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear video evidence to the contrary. And I give these officials a lot of credit. Such a tough and demanding job. You and I both know that. Yeah, they make the right call way more often than they get it wrong. So not successful there on the challenge. And he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. That was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. to Barkley, and they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. He lost two there, and it's third down. Looking to throw, Jones, and this is going to be incomplete. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. So from an offensive perspective, at least able to get on the board here right in front of the two-minute warning. Yeah, now it's time to talk about complimentary football, isn't it? Because if the defense can force a three and out, there could be enough time on the clock that they can get the ball back for their offensive guys and maybe put some more points on the board before the half. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Here comes Mac Jones and the rest of the Patriot offense. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. 
frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. Try the right side with Harris. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. A reminder coming up in a couple of minutes' time. We'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman, the coach in our EA Sports studios. They'll have a look back at the next-gen stats from this first half of action. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. So not only do they get the completion and the conversion there on third down, but tack on 15 more for the face mask. Yeah, they had the first down anyway, had that in their hip pocket, but now with that penalty yardage, that turns out to be a pretty big play. Meanwhile, Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. Calling a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And he'll drop it underneath to White. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They'll try and power it home here with a fullback Johnson. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Taking it in from two yards. Out. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. On for the extra point is Folk. And it's 21 to 3. So the drive there took six plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And no return from Cooper. Out it'll go to the 25. Now here comes Daniel Jones and the Giants again. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. Jones throw taken in by Slayton. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now Jones on first and 10. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. From the 45 on second down, Jones. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 32-yard line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. And Gano's kick is right through. And that'll get the deficit down to 15. 
No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. He'll rifle this one deep right side. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. And all the way inside the 35 before he goes out of bounds. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of... And this is going to be intercepted. Hooked up by James Bradbury. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. Farrow Cooper now going to bring it out. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Back to throw. Jones. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. Looking to throw. Jones. Got a man, Slayton. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. And he'll go down at the 28. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down where they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Here's Jones on third down. And that is incomplete. We've got to give out a little bit of applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first run. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing. All right, they didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need them to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. He 
Here comes Mac Jones and the rest of the Patriot offense. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. 86 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. But I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Normally, being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield, go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. On third down, it's Harris. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. First down, and they go back to Harris. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. On second down, this is Harris. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that. He's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again? Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. And a short gain down to about the 33. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. And Fultz's kick is good. And that will make this now a 15-point advantage. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting three. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that can all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game. But as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The New York set to take the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal and way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll go to Barkley again. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. From the gun, Jones. And that's complete to Shepard. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confident. 
confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. 46 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Partner, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Jones throwing on first down, and it's incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Off the play fake, Jones. He dumps it off to Barkley. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for offense. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. Gano's kick is good. And they're hanging around here as the lead's down to 12. Another three on the board. He's been the lone bright spot. That's now four field goals. If this offense had finished a few drives, we'd be looking at a different complexion to this ball game because right now, the trade is really wrong for them, isn't it? They're trading field goals on other team scoring touchdowns. That's not going to work. New England trying to get to place on offense. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, let's get free, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Now here's another carry for Harris. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one. You know, the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. Jones throwing complete for Harris. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. On the handoff, Stevenson. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Back to Stevenson on first down. And he's got this down to the 35. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Meanwhile, Jones' throw complete there to Smith. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. 
That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. On second down now, it's Harris. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They run again with Harris. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. 141 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. Back to throw. Jones. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Kendrick Bourne, his second touchdown of the night. And the Pats are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that will make this a 19-point game. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. And Cooper, he's going to remain in the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Giants' offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Accepted. He was looking for Ingram. Picked off by J.C. Jackson. And he takes this one back into the end zone. The Patriot defense has a touchdown. Now Fulk for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And no return from Cooper. Out it'll go to the 25. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Now Jones, throwing after the interception, finds his tight end, Ingram, and he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Looking to throw, Jones. And he goes down, it's a Patriot sack. Matthew Judon in there to take him down. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This one goes down wide for Barkley. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Facing this big first-half deficit, they keep the field goal unit on the sideline. They're going for it. That ball caught by Slayton. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Jones throw on target to Shepard. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 
But this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll make this a second down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 12-yard line. They'll run with Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Giants are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Graham Gano on for the extra point. And that'll make this a 19-point game. So that drive goes eight plays, and it ends with a Saquon Barkley touchdown run. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And what could he possibly be thinking? He just took the fair catch at the one-yard line. Major mistake. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Well, he got what he could there, just trying to move forward and, and gain a little bit of yardage and create some space. You know the pressure is going to be tough defensively. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. And he's going to get this up to the 24 yard say start running the football you've got the lead here in the fourth quarter but the way that they've passed it with such success I don't know maybe keep throwing it yeah I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom right in this stage of the game you think you would switch to a running attack but you're exactly right they've thrown it so well throughout the game and trusting this quarterback I think he continued to do so First down carry for Harris. Muscles him off. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's brought down, but not before reaching the 30. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners. Because you've got to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. On the give, this is Harris. Shed him through the tackle. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines. And let's close this one out. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? On second down, it's Harris. He will push his way down to about the 14. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Off play action, Jones. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he'll get inside the 10, but he's short of the line he needed. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to make it fourth down. And folks, kick is good. And that will extend their lead now up to 22.
So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Cooper is going to remain in the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. New York ready to go again offensively. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. You know, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a scotch of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. The Giants on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This will be third and five. And Ingram holds it in. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. Dancing to it, and the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it, and the Patriots have it. this booth. I'm going to try to be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble is kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. The tackle made by Blake Martinez. Brandon, i got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Brandon, every great running backs coach that I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about running them into submission. Uh, and you took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. They hand this off to Harris. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. They're looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. This one to Bourne, and he's got it. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way and worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Here's Stevenson. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Yeah. 
So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got a second and goal now as they look to add a few more points here onto their total. Line of scrimmage at the four. Here's third and goal. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Does it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on, and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Here's Jones on first down. The Pets are going to get there. Down he goes. Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. To try again after the sack. Jones, they'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Jones from the gun on third down. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He'll find a man over the middle. It's Galladay. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. They'll look to throw again. Completes it to Evan Ingram. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. To Barkley on the check down. Not much there, only a yard. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Of explosion help leading them to victory and the defensive guys they're just saying hey put those points up every week we'll just keep winning they will gratefully accept them won't they it makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points allows them to play with a totally different style 